Hey, this is JD. Welcome to my channel. It's early in the morning, but let's look at this new tool. This is a true lock chuck. Locks true. Universal for straightening pivots for polishing. And it says re-pivoting. I'm not sure whether I agree with that one, but the diagram here is a bit messed up because it's very old this tool. So let's look inside for a second. And what does this come with? Let me rotate the box around right here. This comes with this tool right here. This is the chuck. And if I look quickly at this chuck, this mounts up on your lathe, like so. And I had to figure this out when I first got it. I was not sure how the, this thing worked. But you've got the, uh, the balance would fit right in here. And there's a threaded rod here that goes in the end. So you just take this like this and you put that in the end and you rotate it like that and it actually threads in place. And there you go, you got your little ball in the end, job to do hickey thing and the job to do hickey. And that threads in and that allows you to move this back and forth. And there's a series of discs. And the discs have holes in the end, and that's for the other side of the pivot. And there's a whole lot of discs with different uh, holes. I need to clean these things up because they're pretty messy right now. But there's that. And then if I look at how this works, this is a strange beast. This fits in your lathe, of course, and you've got your headstock on this side here. And then you unscrew this here. And so you can see the way that works. It looks like it's reverse threaded too. It just didn't feel natural. And then when you push down on this plate here, like that, you see I'm pushing down that plate, you can remove the disc. And the disc has a very small hole in it. And as you can see right here, when I push down on that plate, there's a big huge rod of metal that just gets out of the way. So when you push down like that, you can see the space opens and you're able to insert the disc like so. So if you put it in part way like that, and then you do this and see how that works, right? So that's inserted and then you use your lathe itself to align the hole to make sure it's completely centered. And then the balance staff would go between the disc and this shaft here. And if I look at this shaft here, you can see that it has a very small hole in the middle, kind of like a J-Cot tool to receive the pivot on the other side. And this on the piece on the end is actually replaceable. So they have this one here, and they have another one in the kit right here with a much smaller hole. So they've done that. And I'm not sure why they have a flat one here, but they do have a flat one. Um, and so that's pretty much how this tool works. So you, you would install this and then you'd... Oh yeah, one more thing. In order to lock this shaft here, you actually simply turn this a bit more clockwise. And so if I just turn that clockwise a bit more, like that, it locks the shaft. So if I pull up on that or pull back and forth on the shaft like this, it's not going anywhere. So once you've sized it properly for your for your balance, you just lock it. So you put it in, size it properly for the, uh, for the uh, watch balance, and then you can lock it into position. So, and this plate here, as I said before, if you move this up and down, that gets that. that gets this out of the way to allow you to install these plates. Right. So if I go to install this plate here, I have to pull this back first a bit. And then a little clumsy here trying to videotape this early in the morning without waking up my wife. So you do that and then you push down and that makes room for it. And once you've done that, it's still loose in here. So then you have to take this and you screw that in, which cozies that up against this plate here. And 
that, tighten that up. And then this is really tight. This is not going to come out. And then you can insert your balance uh, between these positions here. And then tighten, tighten this, which tightens this here. And then away you go. You can start working on the pivot on this side of the disc. So that's the tool right there. And we just lay that inside the box here, like so. And it is called a true lock. True lock chuck. And it says locks true, universal for straightening, polishing, and pivoting. It's not an L there, pivoting. So that's a, that's a new tool. I'm not even going to ask you what is this tool. Because um, you're going to tell me it's a balance check right away. So. Here we go. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm JD. Please subscribe and please hit like. It helps me with my videos.